Hi, my name is Vicky Lee, and today I'll be pitching Valero Energy Corporation and demonstrating why investors should consider buying its stock for its upside potential. Valero is the world's largest independent petroleum refiner. It refines the market's transportation fuels, petrochemical products, and power. It operates in two business segments, refining and ethanol. Valero has a strong refining business, delivering high volume of oil and offering diverse set of refined products. Valero started to rapidly grow from 2000. Its CFRI level since then exceeded its cost of capital and started to generate positive economic return to the firm. Valero is mainly driving its growth through acquisitions, geographic expansion, and cost cutting. Valero purchased ExxonMobil's Bernicia, California in 2000, Diamond Shamrock, the Haunting Refining Company in 2001, and Prem in 2005, after which it became the largest refinery in the U.S. These acquisitions correspond with high asset growth rates, boosts in CFRI levels, and positive market responses. Acquisitions also allowed Valero to expand into East Coast since 2002, Texas since 2005, and Western Europe since 2011. Geographic expansions have brought and will continue to bring growth opportunities to Valero's business. In 2009, during difficult market conditions, Valero's cost-cutting strategy allowed it to withstand the crisis. It divested its non-performing business in several cities corresponding with negative asset growth and therefore maintained a positive safe ROI return. During recent market challenges of falling oil prices, it also announced to cut costs by separating its retail business and reducing capital expenditure while not compromising expansion plans. Management teams therefore have been efficiently managing assets with reference to changes in economic rate of return. Overall speaking, taking into account Valero's past performance and current market size, Valero should be at the near end of rapid growth stage and approaching mature stage in one or two decades. CFRI level therefore should not fade in the near term. The recent sharp fall in oil price created a great challenge for all oil and gas companies. Oil price fell by almost half in less than six months, indicating decline in revenues. Valero's revenue is with no doubt negatively affected by such market condition. However, with nearly 40% drop in revenue, it still managed to deliver 4% increase in gross profits in the last quarter. Holtland also shows negative sales growth and increase in operating margin. This is mainly due to widened refining margin as price decline in raw materials is larger than refined products. As the trend in price drop continues, such advantage will prevent Valero from serious negative impact. A higher operating margin could be expected, offsetting decreasing trend in asset turnover and help maintain its current rate of return. As just explained, we expect Valero to maintain its current CFRI level. Asset growth rate should be around zero as it divests its non-performing assets while continue to expand. Constant increase in dividends and share repurchases in the last several periods indicate that Valero will continue to distribute benefits back to shareholders. With a final look at valuation statistics, Holtland's estimates 97% outside in Valero stock. I used a rather conservative estimate by inputting 4.5% as perpetual growth rate or 9 as terminal habitat multiple into DCF model and obtained an implied upside potential of 60%. With such upside range, I conclude that Valero is a good investment and investors should buy Valero stock for future profit. Thank you very much.